Okay. How chivalrous of you. Because he was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank so uh, I know that this won't be taken, there won't be action on this tonight, but this is just for general comment for future consideration. Uh, I'm here to ask the input council for a letter of support for the plaza proposal. And I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking you to become a community partner because that's not an option anyway. I'm just asking for a letter of support. Because the neighborhood council is the only organization that exists, that exists to act as a voice for the community. Every other business organization that Granada Hills has exists primarily to advance the business interests of businesses. And I don't want to present this as community versus business because that's really the opposite of what this is. It's not kind of hard to see how foot traffic uh, and inviting people to linger in our central business district enhances the business district's appeal and success. And uh, the last time I spoke at a general meeting of the neighborhood council, it was quite rightly pointed out that I hadn't yet done enough outreach to the business community. So I walked door to door on Chatsworth Street between Zelda and Yarmouth, and I got 14 signed letters of support from business owners. And those 14 letters matter, but also so the opinions of stakeholders who live and shop in this community and whose needs those businesses exist to serve, not the other way around. But the Rotary Club Foundation Board voted against this clause of proposal and their reasons for doing so is, quote, we don't know of one business that's in favor of this project. They mistakenly also believe that the plaza would rock the, block the alley. It will not. I learned that Granada Hills did vote it against the plaza after their executive director answered zero phone calls and zero emails. Afterwards, when I spoke at their com public comment and mentioned the fact that we're closing in on 1,000 petition signatures, the bid president told me, quote, I couldn't care less if there's 30,000 names on a petition, end quote, because their sole mission is to serve their commercial property owners, and you can not. The chamber president said in a comment to Plaza supporters on Facebook, quote, we have no skin in the game, the businesses there and the landowners are the only opinions that matter to the chamber, end quote. Okay, that's fair enough, that's the chamber's purview. But where can the public go to have their opinion matter, to have their skin in the game? The neighborhood council is the public's only voice. Going out on food trucks, we've got all these petition signatures in favor of the plaza, but the opponents say that doesn't matter. People come from all over the place to the food truck night. So I say, okay, would you like me to show you how many of the signatures are from people with the 91344 zip code? And then they say, well, that doesn't matter. Those people are business owners. So I say, well, we've got 14 signed letters from business owners. And then they say, well, that doesn't matter. They're not property owners. My question for you is this. When do we start to matter? There's this constant shifting of the bar and we're constantly hearing this message, we don't matter. We've raised money on Kickstarter and, uh, excuse me, this. And while it's not a staggering sum if you believe that every dollar is a vote, that matters. We've got high school kids walking through there every day and they could use a safe place to be in after school, they matter. We've got tons of pedestrians walking through there every Friday night, they matter. Its sole mission is to represent business interests. Rotary represents business interests. The Chamber represents business interests. So this council is really the only option the public has for a voice, or the public gets to know. It would be really great if there could be at least one organization in this town that says to the Kickstarter donors, the petition signers, the 14 business owners, the public, and the community, we matter. Thank you.